All right, welcome to the video. I'm gonna give you guys a quick sneak peek of a functioning real life Tesla semi truck. I know some kind of love it, some hate it, some don't know yet until they actually can maybe check one out, drive one, or squeeze its tires, but yeah, let me just, I'll just film away. But yeah, this one actually, you can fire it up or press a button and scoot down the road. It definitely has one of the biggest windshield wipers I think known to man, other than a 747. And of course, Elon Musk, if it's not him inventing PayPal or rockets or cars, all of us in the semi-truck biz have heard rumors about this. You can go to YouTube and see what these bad boys can do. They accelerate, you know, on par with like a sports car, which is kind of funny because most semi-trucks are slow, as you know. You know, they average about like 30, let's just say 37,000 pounds. I'll go ahead and I'll just kind of walk around it and you guys can kind of take it in. Wheelbase on this on par with like Freightliner, you know, Peterbilt. It would look cool if they extend the frame a little bit. You know, make it a 300 or... I'm sure someone will buy these once they hit the streets and make them sexy. But I'm sure the aerodynamics is quite amazing. I'm just going to hold my phone up. I'm not allowed to touch the truck or climb around it, but... Yeah, you can see it's about as new as you can get. The frame doesn't even... Yeah, it wouldn't even have dust on it, I'm sure, if it wasn't being transported. All of us semi guys were kind of wondering about, you know, how many miles. Like my Peterbilt, I can go about 1,400 miles before I got to put the old go-go juice in. I think I can go about 1,500, but, you know, I like to go maybe 12, 1,300 miles before I refuel. With these cells, you know, you can see it. It looks like it would go under a bunk. You know, they don't have the interior cut out on this. This is more of a single cab but you know you can punch out that metal wall there and it looks like you could just build like the bunk right above but that power cell oh god I'd say it's about maybe four not five but maybe a little less than five feet in length but it's on par with kind of a small version of a of a coffin but yeah how many miles can it go and how fast does it recharge or whatnot then you can kind of see a little glimpse god I wish I could get underneath there and show you guys a little more but you know it's it's a white frame it's kind of cool it's a white white frame it looks kind of wild all right well anyway it's kind of fun to see technology you know it's it's on its way you know trucks in the 60s and the 70s and 80s and 90s, now we're in the 2000s. I think a lot of the government is gonna require cars to be mostly electric and by 2050, I read, and I'm sure the semi-truck biz has gotta lean that way as well. I'm at Love's, and I'm sure Love's and Flying J and all the big truck truck stops, they don't wanna see this. <laughs> this is the last thing, unless you can pull up and every parking lot just has a ton of electric plug-ins, but it's hard to comprehend a successful all-electric semi-truck biz in the future, but I'm sure if we can go to the moon and back somehow, we can figure this out, but it's way down the road. But I would love to test drive this. It'd be fun to go around town and see the acceleration and how it drives. All right, I just wanted to show you, oh, excuse me, just show you real quick what, what a functioning Tesla it's getting a little dirty getting transported from A to B. Looks like it loves park a lot. So, all right, thanks for watching my videos. And I'll see you guys next video, all right? Take care, be safe.